Hi guys, so around a month ago I received a huge amount of mouse pads from the whale and it took a while to test everything but here we are with another roundup. I have here the following pads, the Walhout Beluga, which is the white one, a bunch of different models of the Blitz, uh, the Doodles Riz in mid and then the Pelts. All these pads are honestly really high quality overall, but the Walhout being the oldest is still using the standard rubber base that we were used to seeing a lot before this poron copy trend started happening. Also on the Walhout, the stitching is not as low as on the other models because of that rubber base, but it is still not anything that will harm your performance in any way. And yeah, even though most pads that are released nowadays are sporting a PU foam base of some sort, that doesn't mean that these rubber bases are bad in any way. Usually pads with these rubber bases are also cheaper while still offering really good gaming experience as well. The Walhout is usually referred to as a Hien copy of sorts, but from my testing it is not all that similar fabric wise. Yes, they are both hybrid pads that offer a really speedy experience with a pretty abrasive surface, but the closest pad in terms of feel is probably the X-Ray Pad Aqua Control 2, I'd say. I don't have that with me anymore, but I used that pad extensively before and this reminds me a lot of that experience. It is just a really consistent, well-performing hybrid surface that is very water repellent and good against humidity. I have a hunch this pad will receive an update soon with a PU foam base, but currently there are still some models of this Walhan Beluga in stock, so if you're looking for a very budget-friendly option, for a quick hybrid pad, you could get this pad still. Next up, we have the Blitz. So I already reviewed the Blitz when it launched, so I'm not gonna go super deep in this one, but since then, there has been some new fantastic additions to the Blitz lined up in terms of new colorways and new hardnesses. So here I have the Blitz in orange with the hard base, um, then in purple with the soft base, and in blue with the extra soft base. You can get these pads in a bunch of different sizes like this 500 times 417 and the blue is 490 times 490 and then we have this generous 600 times 500 millimeters that is the purple one. Oh my god this purple is pretty beautiful. Uh, the color of the surface affects the speed somewhat but the differences are really small overall. The fastest surface is the purple then the blue one, then the orange, and the slowest is the black one. From these, I must say that my favorite is the orange with the hard base. The hard is not as hard as, for example, the artisan mid base and is slightly firmer than the soft base. The X soft is not super plushy either and it still has a good rebound to it, so for example dot skates are very usable on it too. The surface of the Blitz is very similar to the Arden Zero speed-wise, so it is best described as a fast control pad. Uh, the thing that really shines with the Blitz for me is that the static friction feels very low with every skate that I use it with and the X and Y axis and also the diagonal axis feel super uniform. This is still the only surface that made the god awful GPX2 stock skates usable when I still had them on. The Blitz is just a very solid cloth pad offering that is pretty unique fabric wise. It is definitely one of my favorite pads and a pad that I find myself going back to from time to time. Then we have the wrist doodles with the mid base. This pad is something that I don't enjoy using that much to be honest and that comes to the fact that with my environment the surface just seems to build up insane amounts of static electricity which larger pad style skates like core pads and the stock skates on Razor mice, for example. That build-up makes the experience with it very inconsistent and sometimes the static friction and dynamic friction is really high and sometimes it is not. Like currently <laughs> with the wiper, this just feels like it is um, glued to the surface of the pad. Um, this doesn't happen with like dot skates, however, but I mostly love to use those larger skates nowadays. The surface is really smooth, silky fabric that is fairly similar to the Infinity Mice Control V2, but a bit more plasticky feeling, most likely due to the printing process. So yeah, I don't enjoy this pad at all, but some others really do. So if you are particularly interested in this pad, I suggest you check what other reviewers say about this pad as well. Don't base your opinion purely on my experiences with it. And then lastly, the slowest of the bunch, the Pels. 
without those static electricity buildup issues. Uh, when I first started using this pad, I was shocked how freakishly slow it actually is. And this is a pure mud pad, but interestingly enough, it is something that I enjoy a lot in aim trainers, particularly. For example, precise tracking with it combined with a really low weight mouse like the HDR or the ULX Cheetah to name a few, is like aiming with stabilizers on. It is just a really precise and controlled altogether. The thing that really separates this from my other control pads is the surface texture, which is very similar looking than on the Wallhout, for example. However, it gives a more fuzzy feeling to your skin and it is a very comfortable pad to use. It is a really interesting pad for sure, and I have never really used anything remotely similar. For Apex, I would say this pad is a bit too slow for my tastes, but I would assume that TAC FPS gamers would really love this pad. A really high static friction combined with a really high dynamic friction that are perfectly proportional to one another. Definitely one of the best control pads out there. But yeah, that is it for this roundup of whale pads. For us Europeans, you can get these pads from Max Gaming and from Launda's own store. And for US folks, these are sold in Lethal Gaming Gear web store. For me, the two top picks from these are for sure the Blitz and the Pelts. But yeah. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Goodbye.